you probably found this video because you're interested in the OMAD, the one meal a day challenge. This is my week three results and review. I'm going to tell you how I've made it through this week, my results, my review of the OMAD so far. And to give you a little sneak peek, guys, I am doing amazing. I'm down close to 30 pounds. Anyway, guys, let's get started. All right, as you know, this is my week three uh, review results. If you haven't seen my last week review, go ahead and check it out. I'll leave a marker up here on the corners so you can click back and check out my week two review, which was shocking about my weight loss. But anyway, go check it out when you get time. I'm talking about week three. Week three has been amazing, all right? My focus is still on point. My energy is still on point. But what I found this week is preparation is key. We must prepare. Guys, yesterday I found myself unprepared, meaning I didn't have nothing to eat when it was time to eat. <laughs> if you're not eating all day, the last thing you want to know is when you go into the refrigerator, there is no food. That was me yesterday, guys. <laughs> But that's okay. The sweet thing about this one meal a day diet, we're not really focusing on macros or calories or what we consume. But what we are focusing on is just one meal a day. And for me, I want to make sure in my one meal a day, as I eat, I want a balanced approach, meaning I want some protein. I want plenty of protein. I want fat. I want carbs. I'm trying to fuel my body so it can get ready to produce for me the next day. Now, I'm still eating at six or seven o'clock in that window. It's been challenging for me to get there at six, but my goal is always six or seven, all right? So what happened yesterday, being that I wasn't prepared, I had to make some options, some changes. So what I did was I choose a chain restaurant to provide me my nutrients. I'm gonna go ahead and say the name. I went to Chipotle, got me a burrito, double wrap, double chicken, Fajita, uh, uh, veggies, cheese, what else I get in there? Green sauce, uh, the uh, diced tomatoes, and the side of queso. Got it home. You know, if I have a video, I, I might show the video. I don't, think I, I, don't think I, I don't think I recorded it. But anyway, what I'm trying to teach you and trying to show you, you have to be prepared. Preparation is important. Because the thing about the old man, anything in life, once you choose to do something, it's going to directly affect those who are around you, all right? Meaning, if you're married, choosing the OMAD is going to affect their lifestyle. If you have kids, it's going to affect their lifestyles. It's going to be an impact, whether it's going to be positive or negative. So you, as preparing to be or do the OMAD, you have to realize who you're living with, your responsibilities. It also, it's going to affect your work. It's going to affect other things in life. So preparing yourself, being aware of who will be involved, who, who, what other people are in my life that this decision of, of them making for the old mad is going to affect because I want you guys to be successful in this, in this challenge in doing the old mad. So first of all, you have to prepare and also be conscious and of, aware of those who you are around and the responsibilities you have because choosing to do one meal a day will affect them. Meaning if you're not eating, but your spouse is hungry, she's going to eat. Right, she's gonna to choose to eat because she's not doing the OMAD. So you have to set yourself up for success. Not only that for you, but for your loved ones or who are you with. So um, today, as I was preparing for this video, my wife she was in the kitchen, and, and also uh, she told me that this morning that she was going to do the OMAD and starting the day. But you know, it's around about noon, she, and, and it hit. And also, we had this amazing pot of gumbo made for us or not made for us given to us by our contractor and you know the temptation is, is was there because we was thawing it out i get out the bathroom and she was warming it up i'm like what you got this bowl for anyhow so she warmed her food up there there's no uh ill feel for that she has to do what she got to do i promote that but what i'm telling you you have to be prepared and also you have to realize that you will directly affect those around you choosing to do one meal a day just prepare yourself you can be successful with that said my workouts didn't change much this week i stayed to the same split mondays uh tuesdays 
Thursdays and Saturdays I do resistance. Wednesdays and Fridays I'm doing cardio. All right, sometimes I go to the gym in the afternoon, sit in the sauna to stretch, to relax my body. That's my typical workout flow. Now let's talk about my weigh-in, guys. Here goes my weigh-in. All right, guys, here is my official weigh-in for week three. There you go, guys. I lost three pounds, three pounds down. So far, I'm at 227. I started at 255. Big man. So it's only been three weeks, and I lost close to 30 pounds. I did weigh myself during the week, and there was times when I got all the way down to 222. But I think that's water retention. I think that's other things, you know, fluids and things like that in my body that I was losing. So 227 sounds about right. I feel good. Uh, I, I look good. You know what I mean? I, my, my body's focused. I'm, I'm, I'm getting shredded. Also, I'm going to show you now how I look physically. Check it out. Looking different, right? I see more abs. Wow, guys. Amazing. You can see striations. Oh, not really striations. You can see the fat count is going down. So now I know I am burning fat or using fat, stored fat in my body as energy. That's what we want. That's what we want our body to do, to start getting to those fat cells. Start using it as energy, the, the, the hidden fats inside your body. You want your body to start using your fat as energy so you can start being healthy as well as start looking good, all right? So my week four goals and plans is to keep it simple, keep it sane. I know last week I mentioned that I was going to restrict from processed foods. I try to do what I can do. There was times where I had a tortilla. There was times when I had a piece of cornbread, but not every day. I did it in moderations. The goal is not to make OMAD a challenging meal, a challenging uh, nutritional choice. It is to utilize the process of eating one meal a day, allowing your body to rest and recover, and eating only when you're hungry and eating as much as you can. Hey guys, I appreciate you watching my video. Come on and join the OG Fit Club. There is more to come. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Subscribe to this channel. Also, click that bell so you can be notified for my next videos. Also, during the week, guys, I post workout videos you can follow along with yourself at home or in the gym. There are awesome hit short workouts you can add to your current fitness regime. Like, comment on this video. Let me know what you think. I appreciate you hanging this far with me with this OG, just trying to make changes this year. In a couple of weeks, guys, I'm turning 49. I'm looking forward to it. The goal is to get below 220 before I turn 49. Let's see what happens. If I get there, great. If not, doesn't matter. But guys, as always, peace, love, and prosperity. Y'all be blessed.